You can sample wine at a local store, even beer. But liquor? Not yet. A Wisconsin bill making headway aims to change that. NBC 15's Kristen Mazur is here with more. John, the bill has been a long time coming after dying last session, now getting new life, making its way through the assembly, thanks to a few revisions and compromises, among things like sample size. Have a good one. I think it's absolutely time that this happens. Colleen Welch has been running Trixie's Liquor on Madison's East Side for a handful of years, educating her customers on wine, beer, but liquor, yeah, that's been a tough one. Who's made it? How long has it been aged? What was the process of, of, of making it? Those are the questions she's faced on a daily basis from customers wanting to know more about scotch, bourbon, whiskey. Unlike beer and wine, her customers can't sample liquor before they buy, making the decision quite harder. They rely on us a lot to sample it ahead of time and tell them about it, but there's only so much we can expect our employees to sample. A bill making its way through the state assembly, aiming to help store owners like Colleen. So this bill simply levels the playing field. Imagine entering Trixie's or a similar retailer, grocery store, and finding mini shots of hard liquor right in front of you, ready to sample. I really think it would help us educate customers about local distilleries. The bill's author says that it'll go beyond that, growing the economy and creating jobs. So it really helps them to expand their business. I'm sure you're wondering exactly how much of a liquor sample we're talking here. Yeah, not much, just about a third of a shot. I think people's biggest fear is that we're just going to be throwing shots out and, and putting disco music on and everyone's going to be dancing. These are small samples. The bill's already cleared an assembly committee, now heading to the full assembly for a vote later this week. I want to point out, too, that a similar bill already under consideration in the Senate.